We must be married at once. There's no time to be lost. Married, Mr. Weldon? Well, surely. You know that I love you, and you'd like me to believe, Miss Fairfax, that you're not completely indifferent towards me. I adore you, but you haven't proposed to me yet. Nothing has been said at all about marriage. The subject has not even been touched on. Well, may I propose to you now? I think it would be an admirable opportunity. And to spare you any possible disappointment, Mr. Worthing, I think it only fair to tell you quite frankly beforehand that I am fully determined to accept you. Gwendolyn. Yes, Mr. Worthing. What have you got to say to me? You know what I've got to say to you. Yes, but you don't say it. Gwendolyn, will you marry me? Oh, of course I will, darling. How long you have been about it. I'm afraid you have very little experience on how to propose. My own one. I've never loved anyone in the world but you. Yes, but men often propose for practice. I know my brother Gerald does. All my girlfriends tell me so. Oh, what wonderfully blue eyes you have, Ernest. They are quite, quite blue. Oh, I hope you will always look at me just like that. Especially when there are other people present. Mr. Worthy, rise, sir, from this semi recumbent posture. It is most indecorous. Mama, I must beg of you to retire. This is no place for you. Besides, Mr. Worthy is not quite finished yet. Finished what, may I ask? I am engaged to Mr. Worthy, Mama. Pardon me, you are not engaged to anyone. When you do become engaged to someone, I, or your father, should his health permit him, will inform you of the fact. An engagement should come on a young girl as a surprise, pleasant or unpleasant as the case may be. It is hardly a matter that she should be allowed to arrange for herself. And now I have a few questions to put to you, Mr. Worthing. While I am making these inquiries, Gwendolyn, you will wait below for me in the carriage. Mama! In the carriage, Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn, the carriage! Yes, Mama.